this session we study about the how to represent the decimal form in a decimal number on number line so first i would like to explain what is uh, decimal form in a decimal number uh, basically i want to explain here if we have to find out the square root of 6.3 on number line so how we will uh, plot this square root of 6.3 on number line where it should be a where it should get position on number line so first of all we have to draw a line here what uh, we are drawing the line here look at this is our number line i have drawn here and uh, now you see i take one point here on number line which is our a point and now we make uh, the partition party now we make the partition uh, with equal uh, intervals with the integers on this line so like 6.3 is a number we have so it is a rational number uh, and under the 6.3 is only the rational number so we have to make the partition with uh, with integers so now we make the partitions here <coughs> for making the partitions we need uh, a scale a ruler by which we could make the partition on this number line so you look at here uh, this is our scale we have the ruler we have here so now we make the partition here so we are taking one unit is equal to 2 cm here uh, so it is our one it is 2 unit it is 3 unit it is 4 unit 5 unit 6 unit and 6.3 it means that it should be the double of that 12.6 so it is 12.6 we have got here so this is our 12.6 unit here now uh, what we do we give some name to these points also now we see we have plotted this and uh, this uh, point uh, 6.3 where it is the 6.3 it is our b point now uh, which is also called the origin so we put here 0 also for origin and now what we will do we will make some same intervals with integers on the right side of this b uh, with the help of this ruler so it is our 1 2 3 4 5 your 6 and this is our 7 so what we have to do i will put the name for these all integers here on number line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are our integers now so this is our a to b we know that it is 6.3 unit and this is our c point we are taking one as a c point now what we have to do we have to find out the perpendicular bisector of ac <coughs> for this uh, we need a compass to make a perpendicular bisector of ac so i put here and take the distance of more half than uh, this ac s is our if we see in the form that is in the sentiment that is 12.6 but in a unit form it is 6.3 so i am taking it is 8 point uh, we are taking 8 here so you see what i will do i will draw the arc both side of this number line upper side and uh, uh, lower side so i make one arc here this is our first arc we have to on and the one arc on the lower side of this I draw is the lower side arc now what I will do I will put it on C and again make arc on both sides of this number line this is the downward side I am making one arc and one on the upper side now i 
what this now what I have to do I have to draw a perpendicular on these two intersecting point through which is passing through these two intersecting points with the help of a ruler so with the help of this scale we draw this first I uh, to fill this scale here Side. Now it's okay. So now we draw a line uh, through these two intersecting R on lower and upper part of this number line. So I draw one line here. Hmm. Okay, this is our number line we have drawn here. Now you see it is our center of AC because it is the perpendicular bisector and divides uh, AC into equal parts. So give some name to this part also. So we give name to this part is D at uh, this point. Sorry. So this is our D point we have. So from D, we have to draw a semicircle on the upward direction of this number line, upward side of this number line, uh, and we have to take the radius AD. So we draw one over this uh, semicircle here from this point, take a radius. Way we have to take the radius. Okay, this radius we have taken. Now we have to draw the semicircle from A to C. We draw here one semicircle. Now it's perfect now. So we have drawn one semicircle here from A to C. Now what we have to do, we have to draw a perpendicular at B on the upward direction of this upward side of this number line, the upper side of this number line. So for this we need a compass to draw a uh, set square, sorry, to draw this uh, 90 degree. So we draw this 90 degree with the help of this set square. Set square we are putting at B. So this we have put here our set square. Now we draw a line, the perpendicular here. I put it a little bit downside of this so we could make it properly for a perpendicular from this it's open so we have drawn a perpendicular here from B now this now we give some name to this intersecting point of this semicircle and this perpendicular so we give E this is our E point. Now B E is square root of 6.3. How it is? So, uh, there is a theorem behind this. Uh, the theorem based on uh, Pythagoras theorem. So I explain little bit about that theorem here. B E square of this perpendicular is equal to the 
ए बी इंटू बी सी ए बी इंटू बी सी फिर यू सी ए बी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री वी हैव एंड बी सी इज वन यूनिट ओनली सो वी गेट बी सी ई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री एंड फाइनली वी गेट बी ई is equal to square root of 6.3 we are taking only positive sign here on the right side so it is 6.3 so b is the 6.3 square root of 6.3 here so we have got square root of 6.3 now what i will do now i will put uh, my compass meter here and uh, take the radius b Just a moment. Okay, it is B. I am taking as radius, and draw an arc up to this number line. So you see what happens now. So I use different color here. I use white color. So you see what happens now here. Okay, so this is square root of six point three. So the B and this up to here, the where it is cutting to the number line, this R is also square root of six point three. So this is the position of six point three we have got here. It is our position of square root of six point three. So in this way we could get the position of any decimal form irrational number on number line. Okay.